welcome in Todd Starkey, head women's basketball coach at Kent State University. He's uh, just a, a little bit behind most of the game until the very end. You guys get over that hump, tie it up with the final five points of regulation. Just to uh, speak to the effort to get back into the game at one time trailing by 16. Yeah, I, thought, I mean, obviously Robert Morris is a really good basketball team with a, a lot of veterans. Um, really good players that have, that have been in the NCAA tournament have played, played against really good competition. So we knew we had our hands full. I was just really proud of the way that we listened to the adjustments we tried to make at halftime. We came out, we fought every possession in the second half. We went down, we came back, we went down again, we came back again. And then in the fourth quarter for us to, to be able to get it to an opportunity to, uh, to get it to overtime was fantastic. And, um, you know, we just, they were just a little bit too much for us. Um, but but I, thought, I thought we really showed some great grit and some great fight to be there. And we got a wide open three from our best player, and, you know, at the buzzer to send it into double overtime, and she, she just missed it. But I told her after the game, I said, listen, we're not even close in that game unless you play the way you did. So I was really proud of Larissa and, and, the, and the effort that she, she had. Barrow with five points, cross a half-court shot. Yes! It's a three from half-court by Nadia Cross at the buzzer. Whoa! Well, and she showed, Todd, I, I felt just a little different facet of her game today. She only hit one three-pointer, so you figure a 32-point performance with a player like Larissa, you're going to look at the stat sheet and see a number of three-point baskets, but she did it by driving today, getting to the line, uh, just a, a great, gritty effort by her today. She earned those 32 points. Yeah, no question. And you know, once, once again, the thing, the thing for her is really developing her complete game, and that's on the defensive end, which I thought she was much better at again uh, tonight. But also getting to the free throw line. So, t so teams can't just run her off the line anymore. You know, uh, she, she's got a great shot fake. She can get to the basket. She can get to the free throw line now. Um, she's rebounding the basketball from the guard position. Um, I'm, I'm really, really proud of her, and and just a, a really good team effort, a really good team effort overall to get ourselves back in that game and to really get defensive stops. Well, without question, it was a extremely physical game, Todd, as evidenced by the number of fouls uh, just uh, numerically in the ball game. But uh, Robert Morris came out uh, very physical and seemed to be their game plan to try and take charge in that manner. Yeah, no question, and we we talked about that. Um, you know. It, if they're going to play physical, we have to keep trying to get to the free throw line, which we did, and it was a good test for us. We're going to see we're going to see plenty of physical play coming up, uh, and and uh, that was a really good test for us. I'm 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 not happy with with losing, never happy with losing uh, with the result, but I'm really happy with the way that we fought and uh, the way we got ourselves back in that one. You had uh, boy, without question, this is uh, a game that uh, you have so much to now comb through when you guys look at the tape and. Not just uh, because it was uh, an overtime game, but just so many different things happen, so many situations that you can pull out of there and uh, use some teaching moments, right? Yeah, absolutely. Plenty to, plenty to learn from in this. Uh, we've got a really difficult game coming up at Detroit. Uh, we won't get any sympathy from them uh, in two days. And then, uh, obviously, on to Florida and, and playing in the, the best non-conference uh, you know, tournament in the country. So we've got plenty to work on. Uh, we're excited about uh, the progression that we're making, but we still have room to grow. Well, it uh, finally came late, but we did find out there still is a palming violation in college basketball. I was uh, waiting on it for a while today. I don't know if you were. Yeah, it was a little bit late in the game, but we're glad we got it there. It actually gave us an opportunity, that, uh, an extra possession, which was great. Todd, great job by your girls today, even the losing effort. We'll see you on Monday on the road in uh, Detroit. Thank you. All go, right. go Flashes. Todd, she is. She gets it into Nadia Cross. Here we go. Cross angles over to the right side. Nadia Cross to the baseline. Gets it to Lurkin. There goes the three. It is off the back rim and no good and the rebound pulled down by Robert Morris and that's it the Colonials win it today 68 to 65 as a last second three rims out